Super Dave here with another Super Dave review. Super Dave here with another exciting Masters of the Universe review with a double feature today. That's right, we're going to look at two Mattel creation figures. We're going to first of all look at Wondar. And this is an Origins figure. Hopefully we will get one in Masterverse eventually, but I have a special plan for this guy if it'll work. And so there is the shipper box on the outside there. We're getting ready to open these up in just a moment. But then another one that we have, as you see there, by Mattel Creations. I love this. This is the shipper box. Look at what it says on the end. Cue dramatic box opening music. So let's do that. And there it is. Dramatic music and all. It is the box art for, that's right, Vicron. So we have basically three in one here. We have one figure with three outfits. So this is the new Eternia Vicron. And just take a look at those guys looking awesome. So we're getting ready to bust these open right now in our ancient Eternia set up back here, long before He-Man or She-Ra, back even, maybe even before King Grayskull, but we're going to put King Grayskull in this set. <laughs> and here we are to visit Ancient Eternia as we look at this awesome setup here where we have many of our more ancient and further back in the history of the mythos of Masters of the Universe figures, but here is one Dar. It's got that new for 22, one Dar the Savage He-Man retro play with modern posing. And we're going to look at this awesome book artwork or this artwork on the back. Just check that out. Wow. Look at that. That is just so, so sweet. Look at that. Neat, neat, neat wonder who that is back there. Guess maybe the comic book will tell us some information about what storyline they're going with this guy. Those are really neat skeletons there he's, he's killing. So we'll open him in just a moment. But then look at this box with our Vicron. Wow, see it says Mattel Creations. There's the tank dude. And look at those interesting soldiers back there in the background. They almost look like Star Wars type figures. But he, uh, Vicron, the champion, the barbarian champion, is also fighting some skeletons here. Skeleton warriors. And we've got some skeleton warriors, so we'll check that out in photos. And then the more space-style barbarian, or space-style Vicron warrior there. But that is so neat. And uh, let's go ahead and flip it around here and check out the next picture. Yeah, it says, Masters of the Universe, New Eternity Original Designs Inspired by Classic Concepts. Just take a look at them there. I love that picture of them there. It's really neat. So now let's open the box. So you just basically take the little flaps that are folded up underneath it there and lift it up. And then it comes open as so. And then you're greeted by another... Uh, flap that has that same artwork but this also opens up into a backdrop on the inside there as you see that's going to be neat we'll look at that in a moment but there is the figure inside with some of his uh, accessories and then you have this little box right here that says Vicron Ultimate Eternian Champion and so you open up this little chest or this little box and then you have the rest of the accessories inside. So let's go ahead and check these guys out fully unpackaged. All right, so first taking a look at our Vicron here, we see that he comes with that cool looking backdrop, little background uh, insert. I'm gonna check a, take a look at that, check that out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at all of Vicron's accessories. 
So first of all, Vicron comes with two sets of hands, a balled up fisted hand, a left and a right horizontally hinged, and a left and a right weapon holding hand horizontally hinged as well. One of each is equipped. You see that he comes with the head sculpt with that helmet and hair on there. He's got a soft goods furry uh, back attachment there. Really cool Vicron looking barbarian style like unto the classics. The harness there around his chest. He's got a really soft loincloth I noticed. Very rubbery and a pretty traditional Masters Universe, Masterverse style belt there on the front. He has those silver gauntlets on both wrists. This cool battle axe. He's also got the attachments for his feet. Those covers that go with the Barbarian that actually cover up those furry style boots that we usually see on He-Man and other figures with that same type emblem that we see on his chest. But that pretty much rounds out the Barbarian Vicron and we'll look at him a little bit more detail in just a moment. But then he comes with his space suit which is really cool. There's, it's attached with a hose there to his chest and we'll see how all that works in just a little bit. His backpack is already mounted on there and his, his bracers or you know around his wrist so that's cool. And then he has this really neat looking weapon of some kind here that is cool and I'm not sure if that goes with the uh, space suit or the tank suit. It may go with the tank suit because he also comes with this one that kind of looks like it must go with the spacesuit. Has a little bit of a similarity to the style of weapons that our cosmic enforcers carry. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of why it reminisces to me a little bit this space outfit that it's kind of in the line with the uh, Cosmic Enforcer. So that's cool. We can definitely use our imagination and have fun with that. But he comes with this cool orange pistol type laser gun with some silver trim on the top barrel there. Really cool looking. I like it. And then my least favorite all. Wow, does it not come with a lot of pieces. You have the helmet part that will go on his head and that mouth looking thing does open up <laughs> with those uh, cool blasters on either side of that helmet and then the chest part with the shoulder parts that can plug in as you see there left and right and they are labeled on the inside L and R as well as the parts that will go around his boots and the parts that will go around his arms bracers those are big so we've got a lot of stuff to, to try on this guy so let's get at it and first take a look at him in his space outfit all right so here is the barbarian next to the space style looking vicron and i was wrong his uh stage left or his right hand rather is actually a vertically hinged hand weapon holding hand so that's really cool so let's go ahead and spin these guys around and see how they look because our Vicron our barbarian Vicron as you'll see here underneath this soft goods furry white piece just has your traditional style he-man masters of the universe style buckles that and a place to hold his axe or a sword under underneath there too which there's enough enough space here between his back of his neck and this that it will go down in there if you would like to do that so that's cool and I will mention go ahead and mention off the top here that this helmet does not come off this hair does not come off I thought maybe you could pop this off and put the helmet on or put on the uh, tank you know style helmet but that's not quite the way this works I don't believe we'll see in just a moment if the tank thing fits over that head but I don't think so but anyway you can see what he looks like from behind here you can see his boots are strapped on those are very tight to get off uh, when I was trying to take them off this other figure my second one here those buckles are really hard to get off but uh, you know this box only comes with one figure but I bought two so that I could I could stage my Vicron as the barbarian and as the space dude really not that interested in this the tank guy just like I wasn't in the classics 
but uh, <laughs> to each their own. There's his rocket powered jetpack that snaps onto the back of his outfit. A lot of neat detail to this backpack. You kind of see like the gears working, the wires there, and you can actually remove these two translucent wings as well, but it clips right on to the back of that backpack with two little hooks that just slide right in and, and you just hook it right on. But look at the nice silver metallic workings on that helmet and on that backpack. Almost does give you a Mandalorian looking uh, feel. Even though this helmet is not quite as Mandalorian looking as the one that came with the classics, still you get that vibe. But this actual chest armor gives me a vibe of more like the Cosmic Enforcers. And even the helmet to a certain degree, maybe because of the big eyeball, black eyeballs kind of goggles. But um, overall, I think he's cool. And then as far as the feet, just leave, I guess, the regular white you know, coverings there because we didn't really get anything to cover up the feet for the space dude here. But uh, like we did with the Barbarian or with the actual tank dude. I guess you could put those on here if you really wanted to give him some silver trim on this to kind of match but that would be up to you but looking cool with the space outfit next to the barbarian here give it one more spin see that furry stuff on the back I, th I think that's neat that they actually did fur this time instead of plastic like we got with classics and we'll do that in some comparisons in a little bit here but just looking really cool. And you see how this one buckles back on the back, those little tabs there. Just wraps around his waist and just snaps right on. And then the helmet, like I was saying, is actually a headpiece, a, a head mold. So you just snap that into the ball joint there. All right, now let's take a look at the tank dude right now. Okay, so here is our tank dude partially installed. He has his chest armor along with his shoulder pads, his gauntlets on left and right arm, his cool looking bird face looking weapon there that he holds from the upper part instead of the lower part because you can tell by the face direction. Then he's got the parts that kind of cover up those boots a little bit anyway. Still don't like the way it kind of allows the, uh, you know, the white part to shine around it. but. Uh, I was wrong again um, this one does need this head but you don't take anything off because up inside of this you see there is a hole up inside of there and you can uh, again maneuver this helmet to kind of open or close its mouth and these cannons also move as you see there but you have to just kind of slide this right over top of this helmet and allow it to go up inside of and pop it into place and it actually works best if you pop the head off of the body and snap that head up inside of that eagle looking tank head piece or helmet and then pop it back on the body but there you see it now as we remember on the spacesuit he had this right here and we popped that on and I showed you how you could remove the translucent wing pieces or I mentioned that I, you could remove those that's because you could take this piece and just turn it upside down like so and you can still attach it to the back of your tank dude because he's got those notches as well as I will get ready to show you right now and voila you can see that he can put that on his back and have a different look putting it upside down reverse from what we did the space dude so you can see that there is uh, plenty of options here that you can get creative with still not crazy over this outfit looks, looks just kind of weird but uh, some may really like it I do like the gun the uh, this cannon looking thing this is cool uh, unfortunately this does not open it would have been cool if that would open and it had revealed like a some kind of cannon on the inside that would have been wicked but it does not. Now I noticed these little tabs on the end of these wings. I wonder if, I don't know, no, I was gonna say, when I saw those big openings on the back of the helmet there, I was just wondering 
you could plug those in, but that's not what that's for. I'm not sure what those are for. It's almost like they have a purpose on the back of his head there. I have to figure out what that's about. If I figure it out before the end of this review, I'll share it with you. But that is overall neat. I do like the cannons on the side of those, of that head helmet thing, but uh, that's about it. Now, I will say that the chest armor has that man at arms style vent coming out the front. So that's interesting. Almost a man at arms uh, inspired armor that he comes with here. But overall, I think he's cool. Definitely like his shoulder pads. Mike could use them and that chest armor on another figure for some customization of some sort. But yeah, I mean, I'm still digging the barbarian and the space guy more than I am this dude. All right. Now let's take a look at our Vicron's articulation. All right, bringing in him a little closer in here. We see that his head is gonna pretty much only look up about that much. So only the ability to basically look forward mainly. He's able to look down just about all the way. That head tucked in there. He um, does get a slight amount of head pivot before the hair kind of hits the sides, but not a tremendous amount. He's going to be able to turn side to side. His arms are going to get the traditional 360, better than 90 degrees, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel horizontal here, and bend at the wrist. He's going to have the ability to crunch forward that much. He's going to be able to bend back a pretty good amount there, actually. He also has, see if he's got the new Wave 9 diaphragm. He does. He does have the Wave 9 diaphragm. How about that? So that means he's going to be able to get some good side-to-side -side bends and swivel at the waist and at the diaphragm there. And this side over here, and I took the gauntlet off as so you can see, he does actually have a vertically hinged wrist. It doesn't really get a whole lot of range or benefit him a whole lot without taking off the bracer, but he does have it. He's going to get, get full splits there with those legs, thigh rotation, double jointed knees. He has, of course, boot cut. He'll get full tiptoes. He'll go up all the way. And of course get rockers with the peg hole in the bottom so our traditional expected master verse articulation which is excellent this kind of po poofs out a little bit <laughs> and you can adjust that because it's velcroed underneath that harness so you can kind of pull it up a little further if you want to or back a little further if you want to but it lays nicely and it looks neat have to just keep it clean right <laughs> but looking cool now as far as our space dude his head articulation is going to be the only thing different and he's really only going to be able to look straight ahead as well no looking back but he will be able to look down some before it kind of bounces back not not even able to look down as much as as the other one so very limited on articulation and even really to be able to get side to side motion is limited to let's see i don't know i don't really want to pull that out as we'll see it may be able to come out but i don't really want to do it it looks like it will though it goes in and out a little bit there but anyway uh, i like the way it looks looks cool and i'm just going to leave it like that but there you have it that's his articulation now to look at our one dar by origins our origins one dar and for a particular reason, because I would like to turn this space dude into a Masterverse one dar and just see if it works. Let's check it out. All right, so here is our one dar out of the package. I really like his head sculpt. Got the correct body armor for a cosmic enforcer, including the cool brown laser pistol that looks like a cosmic enforcer. He comes with that little machete blade. The only other accessory he comes with is this like fireman's axe 
that's also in that brown so trash to me wish he had come with his bread thus wonder bread <laughs> wonder bread but he didn't uh, traditional buckles on his back there a lot of muscularity traditional origins articulation going up down gets good head pivot side to side three six 360 no bicep swivel but he gets the elbow swivel and single jointed elbows gets the swivel and hinge at the wrists no diaphragm crunching but he will turn side to side he'll get full splits has no thigh swivel but does have knee swivel and boot cut single jointed knees tiptoes all the way up gets a peg hole and rockers so limited origins articulation a lot better than the original vintage but still limited so let's go ahead and see if we can transform this body right here into a masterverse wonder let's see if it'll work okay so here he is and i'm not completely sold on it um Maybe I could do some more modifications, but if you can't tell, the head sculpt, the flesh and the face is not the same as the flesh and the body. The armor pretty much fits. You kind of have to hunch him over to make it not show his belly button, almost like you know a, sh a shirt a little too short and won't cover down here. But uh, you know, I made it work there. It is fully buckled in the back, as you can see back here. It's fully buckled. But uh, I don't know, there's just something a little off about it other than the fact that we don't have the arm bracers, don't have any black arm bracers, and I don't have a face that will match. Because um, this Vicron has a different shade of um, skin tone. It's a little bit darker, uh, almost like a almost like an Asian tan, kind of. You can see even compared to Zodak and Vicron here definitely different shade and so his face is definitely a different shade if you back it up and kind of you know use the lighting it's not that that noticeable and you could make it work but hopefully we will get an official Masterverse Wondar maybe you know I don't know but if we don't I've got this guy and I can definitely make it work if I want to but I definitely think that the head sculpt works with the size um, it's just the skin tone but you know you tell me what you think and um, what other modifications could I make here give me some ideas do I need to change the color of the belt what about the white fur around the boot should I paint that um, should I just leave it so that I can double this body for either one dar or the spaceman I just don't know because I'm definitely gonna keep the barbarian in his outfit not really concerned that much with the tank dude but I do like the space dudes outfit so I don't know I'm just torn I mean he's got his gun I did have to use a little putty because of course those handles are smaller than the masterverse grip but um, I mean technically there's one dar <laughs> All right, and there you can see a comparison beside these other figures. There is Hero, and you can see that Vicron is a little bit taller because of the helmet. He's a little bit taller than Zodak because of the helmet. But when I snap that Wondar head on it, he's about the same size as our Zodak. But of course, all of them are a little taller, taller than Zodak with a C here. And... Um, but anyway, there you see the comparisons. And we certainly appreciate you joining us for this Super Dave review. And please come back and see us again next time. It has been fun reviewing this Vicron, as well as taking a look at, well, Wondar, I guess. There he is. <laughs> That's a little better. But you see how he compares to the classics and the other Masterverse figures here. And so please like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you've not done so. 
please comment if you have something to share please tell me what i can do to make this one dar look better and we will look forward to seeing you next time as we've got wave 10 on the way looking forward to that and we can't wait to see you next time at another super dave review enjoy some photos in the photo gallery